What's happening, Black family? Sadat here. Went out in the backyard to at least say I flew my drone. And this is what I came up with. What the bird's doing now is a pre-flight check. I can hear the fan on the inside of the unit. Keep the processor cool. I think I might have to do some modifications on the... This is my dilemma. I gotta get out of one of these. So the daughter and granddaughter be able to the fuck see my what shit I see. Up. Find this drone. I'm having a hard time finding this one. Because I know this one works with that drone. You know, I don't want to get something that probably won't be compatible with something, you know. Alright. I'm still doing the pre flight, huh? Alright, well, you're going to see it move in a second. All colors are looking real good. Okay, here you go. I'm about to take off. I take off manually. I don't use the AI. I want to learn how to fly my drone my own self. I don't need AI. So I'm going out to where I call the window. It's a perfect way to punch out. We don't have to worry about no trees. And I'm over the neighbor house in the back of me. As soon as I get up above all the tree line, I feel pretty safe. Now at about this time, I looked down at the controller, and I saw it was all in metric and shit, which really fucked me up because I'm not good with no metric. So I couldn't find where I could put it back on Imperial system. So at that time, I knew this wasn't going to be a long flight at all. Because I couldn't go to my ceiling at 397 feet. I took it as high as I felt safe to take it. I go up a little more. I want to get perfect. I see if I had the the menu in front of me, I wouldn't be turning so fast. I wanted to be in cinematic flight. Or right now I know I should have hit the tripod mode, and it would have you know turned slower than that. I'm looking over at the condominiums in the back of the neighborhood with their little pond over there. That bougie ass no trespassing unless you know somebody through there but all of them can walk through our neighborhood uh, that's neither here or there you can see the mailman over there by the condominiums I think around here I'm about about 260 250 feet you can see that's their pond And you can tell the, by the height of the trees, that's the old neighborhood. It's about 50 years old. And back over there, that's the HOA connected to our neighborhood. You can see they got smaller trees because they're, they're not even 20 years old. But everything down there, we have trees old as 150 years old in some people's uh, yard. I don't want no tree that big. And... Um, the poplar and the Japanese maple is probably about 60 to 100 feet. And those are in the front yard. I don't have any trees in the backyard, but my neighbor does. Both neighbors do. I go around, yeah, I need to, need to have a better flight plan. I got it to feet. Got it out of the metric system. Just taking up the sights in whose neighborhood I see some movement. 
back there you can see the clearing of the park and then with a large tree line right there that's Norfolk Park that's Mosquito Haven oh, hold on that little hiccup there my editing ain't all that so it is what it is Pointing the camera down. See somebody cutting the grass on the next block over. I should be doing that, but I just didn't feel like riding on no lawnmower today. Stomach's upset. yarn ain't so bad anyway and that's my yard coming down the little man house in the back I'll put the camera up again because I usually want the camera pointed front and again I'm landing it manually it would be a longer flight if everything was in imperial and now metric, metric. That's a damn, damn good picture. Yeah, I'm coming down now. Back up a little bit. Definitely don't want to come down the neighbor's yard. That's that tree right there. That's her backyard. Line it up, bring it up, and I'm gonna bring it back. Go down a little bit, bring it back into my yard. Here we go. And coming on down. Gonna make some adjustments here because I see I'm coming down in the garden. from the rotor. Touchdown. 